Hello, Dovakin. Welcome back. So, guys, in this episode, we are going to conclude the Thieves Guild quest line. Pretty exciting stuff. I can't wait. So, we're heading to the Twilight Sepulchre to return the Skeleton Key to Nocturnal. So, what we're going to do is actually going to head to... I forget the name of this place, but it's where the Shield of the Crusader is currently residing. I still don't have the key, so I can't actually loot it. But there's an inn here where there's an inn. There's probably Crate Student Museum, and I'm really close to being over-encumbered, so... I need those crates. And also, uh, there's probably a carriage stop there. So we don't have to ride all the way back to uh, Winterhold. Or Windhelm, rather. Alright. Alright, girls, let's go. Out for a cool, refreshing swim. Uh-oh. I see a fox. I gotta take these opportunities to... Wow, the aiming is not good. Oh, no. There we go. No, come back, Mr. Fox. I need your... Oh, so close. Yeah, I need to get these soul... Um... Oh, there's so few souls, of course. I need to get the soul trap uh, game going on. Because I need to start selling enchanted daggers to earn all kinds of gold so I can spend the gold to train a lot of skills. And boy, do I have a lot of tra uh, training points left. Yeah, my aiming is just not good on horse right now. Hmm, auto looting isn't working on convenient horses. I might be I might be getting some script lag from something. Alright, so okay, there's DN. I don't remember if I have uh, an overall installed here. From here it doesn't look like it. Alright, let's go. Hmm, yeah, that's kind of disconcerting as to why those scripts aren't firing off for convenient horses. I'll get off the holes. Yeah, I'm, on, I'm also gonna have to get some sleep here apparently because yeah, Boda is very tired. So that is not it. Where's the end? That's the end right there. Alright, this is yeah, night gate in. Alright, let's see if I can find these crates. Ooh, I hear combat. I'm not getting engaged. Okay, so I don't see any crates for the museum. Not a big deal because I'm going to go to Falkreath anyway, and I'm pretty sure Falkreath has, um, has crates. Okay. So I guess there's no point in uh, actually staying at the end then. If we're going to go to Falkreath anyway. Okay. So let's see if I can find this uh, carriage stop. There's gotta be one nearby. My parents were funny people. Really? I mean, we're funny, not the haha -ha kind. Got some storm cloaks going, wandering around here. Okay. All right. So the main carriage stop should be along the road. There it is, right there. You gotta remember the benches for the carriage stops are always next to these braziers. Okay. Well, Sophia's here. Where's everybody else? Okay, there they are. All right, Goyles, let's go. So, Fall Creek. Boom. Done, you guys. This carriage, this mod is is amazing. A huge quality of life improvement. It's a raining. Hey. Okay, so. I'm glad you're here with me. Oh, huh, Swan's giving me something. Okay, cool. All right. So, with this weather, I'm not sure where Fall Creek is. Is it down the hill? Is it over the hill? Oh, it's behind this me. Must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. I do believe it is. Okay, I think Valkyrie is actually down here, right? Yeah, there's Valkyrie. All right, down the hill, girls. Let's go. I still need to buy some stuff to complete Serana's camping kit. <laughs> what are you doing down here, Ellie? Did you see a dog out there? A dog? No, some wolves, but no dogs. Oh well. The blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was hoping you had seen it. 
I guess I'll stay on the lookout. Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. I think I will. That's the opening to a really awesome quest. Yeah, we'll do that quest when we focus on Falkreath as, uh, as our main, I guess, hub. Okay, so here's the end. So, ah, there's the crates that I needed. Um, but let me make sure that Sophia doesn't have anything. What is it? Is it because you're scared what I might do with okay. it? Oh, I need to remember to give that one last flawless amethyst that I got right there. Bam! Okay, so we could turn that into Talon J now. Look at Sophia looking so happy. I rather enjoyed a little chat. All right. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff to store. Start the weapon. Start with the weapons here. Okay, nice and light. All right, so we're gonna sleep, eat, and bathe, and then we're off to uh, the Soul Cairn. Okay, so we're gonna have to deal with that. Serana's not very shy, and Lydia is very shy. Another glorious morning in Skyrim. So, I'm, uh, oh boy, and there's a dragon. Perfect opportunity to test out my new bow. <laughs> By the gods, dragon. Everyone and yet. Come on, dragon. I'm not even scared. Shouldn't be two healers and a tank. That and go bow. Come on, you filthy lizard. Come on. Where'd you go? Yes. I just want to see how much this bow is going to do naked. Oh, that did a pretty good chunk. Oh yeah. Well, you have Well, it's augmented with some poisons. Frostbite venom, why not? Get him, Lydia. All right, I got my dwarven arrows right now. Oh no, Lydia! Don't let my lips you. There we go. Sophia healed Lydia. At a girl. Maybe that means you actually have a brain. All right, so I'm gonna need to take some cover. Run! Alright, yeah, we got this. Level 30 dragon ain't nothing. Sophia's down this time. <laughs> Very nice. Alright, let's some more poison. Oh, there goes in Lydia. Get Lydia. Why must you things always attack at the most inconvenient times? Alright, cool. In all my years, I've never seen such a thing. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Time to drink it in. Many battles Feel have it. been fought here over the centuries. Feel it go through my bones. Mm. <laughs> Grey scars are looming on the horizon. What was that message about a lock? That was weird. Alright, so we're just gonna take everything. Okay, we still doing good. All right, so we had our, you know, breakfast, our little early morning snack. Dragon tartar. Now it's time to move on. All right, everyone's looking good. Roll call. So Sophia, in I was just wondering. And they're chatting again. Do you read again. any books in your spare time? So Serana's uh, yes, in her town clothes, and Lydia that. and Sophia are so, in their have you standard ever read gear. The lusty Agonian maid? That's interesting. It sounds like my kind of book. Right there's where we're going. I'm hoping that'll sort itself out, because it's a uh, it's gotta be script lag. Not much I can really do about that. Just hopefully it just sort of works its way out. What? Okay. Just because I'm female doesn't mean I can't enjoy a nice classy piece of literature. I've heard it's quite intellectually stimulating. Who's this guy? That's close enough. Is someone there? You picked there? a bad time to get out. <laughs> now ain't this a surprise? What was that? Oh. <laughs> okay, cool. 
And now everybody's jumping on. Oh, that was another freaking bandit. Where'd he come from? Hmm. Nice of you to join us, Serana. Oh, I think that's actually a bandit fort right there. Whoa, whoa, what are we looking at here? Yeah, and that actually has something to do with the companions, that fort, so I'm not gonna mess with them. We'll just go around for now. Thieves Guild business for now. Alright, I need to switch back to my soul trap bow, because that's a wolf. And I want these soul gems. Boom. That's not waste. My dwarven bow arrows. Go back to steel for now. Okay, let's go. Yeah, this is Boda's favorite area of Skyrim, Falkreath Hole. This is where he was living before everything started. I want the deer. Alright. So I'm gonna veer off to the west over here. Aggro. Whoa! Oh, uh, got some mages. A necromancer. Oh man. <laughs> Lydia just walked up to her and chopped her down. <laughs> Shoulda ran. Yeah, you don't want to get in Lydia's way, man. Slow burning dagger. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, and we got a book. Spell Tome Apprentice Bound Cloak. Lesser creates a magic cloak for 150 seconds. I wonder if that has something to do with Frostfall. We've got some more stuff over here. And it's a book I don't have. Conjuration. A satchel. Ah, a bunch of ingredients. Nice. Okay, anything else here? No, oh, just a cool little uh, point of interest in the woods. Alright, we're getting closer. Almost there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to starting the Companions quest. And since I'm a little bit higher level, the dungeons and things that we dwell, uh, dwell is going to be a little bit more interesting too. Okay. So we got to veer around. We're still a good bit away. There's smoke over here. What's going on? What is this? What's been a dragon attack? We'll take the horse hair and hide. Ah, oh, these guys didn't have a chance. Okay, there's a chest. Sarana! Wow. Very weak to fire, Sarana is. Jeez, lady, be careful. Let's see what's in this chest. Nothing. Just gold. So this is like a crossroads here. Hmm. And we're gonna take a lift. Oh, let's go. I hear wolves. I smell the. Oh, we got three of them. I could use those soul gems. Lady, let me let that? me do this. Let me handle this. I got this. I like the sound effect for these uh, soul gems. That's pretty neat. Cool. And they so obediently just stood there for me. Cool. So right now I could only soul trap like sta is it standard? Petty and common, I think. Common might be the highest level soul gems I could extra trap, but that's all I need. You don't need much to make some uh, decently selling daggers. Alright, so. Alright, we should be getting close. Keep an eye for bears and saber cats. And giant spiders, oh my god. Get him, Lydia. <laughs> cool, I could actually still drop that. That was great. Hey, look at this. More wolves. 
Is someone well, there? that's done and done. Hopefully done that's and the done. last of them. I'm starting to get a bit tired. One head increased. Courtesy of Lydia. Thank you, Lydia. Oh, skeevers here. Oh, those are skeevers. I thought they were wolves. Am I going the right, right way? Yes, I am. Okay, so the cell cairn is filled with a bunch of ghosts. So does that mean... Oh, come back, Mr. Fox. Oof. So as I was saying, soul cairn is full of ghosts. Does that mean I'm going to have to pull out the silver arrows? Fox fat. Alright, so here's the soul cairn. I don't know if there's anything out here that's of interest. Cool looking rock. What is that? Oh. It's just a discolored rock. Can I shoot this down? I'm just wondering. No, I guess not. Too bad. Okay. Let's go, girls. Alright, speak with the Nightingale Sentinel. Turn the lights down. Turn the lights on. I don't recognize you, but I sense that you're one of us. Who are you? I am Boda. I'd ask the same question of you. The last of the Nightingale Sentinels, I'm afraid. I've defended the Sepulchre alone for what seems like an eternity. The last? What happened to the rest? We were betrayed by one of our own kind. In fact, I'm to blame for what's happened here. How are you to blame, Nightingale Sentinel? I was blinded. Blinded by dark treachery masquerading as friendship. Perhaps if I had been more vigilant, then Mercer Frey wouldn't have lured me to my fate and stolen the skeleton key. Holy Ghost, Batman. You must be Gallus. I haven't heard that name in a long time. How do you know of me? We have a friend in common. I have the key. The key! You have the skeleton key! I never thought I'd see it again. And Mercer Frey? Is he anything useful? Oh, he's burning in hell, my friend. Then, it's over. And my death wasn't in vain. I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. This one, I did this, I did this to get rich, my man. Were I able to provide it, I'd shower you in wealth for what you've done. My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. Carlyle helped me. Carlyle? She's still alive? I'm looking really good for her age, too. I feared she'd befallen the same fate. Ending up a victim of Mercer's betrayal. Well, then take the key and uh, right all the wrongs. Nothing would bring me more pride than to return the key. But I'm afraid it's impossible. From the moment I arrived here, I felt myself, well, dying. How can a spirit die? The sepulchre isn't merely a temple or a vault to house the key. Within these walls is the Ebonair, a conduit to Nocturnal's realm of Everglow. When Mercer stole the key, that conduit closed, severely limiting our ties to her. Well, then I had to proceed alone. I'm afraid so. I'm weakening, and I can feel myself slipping away. The years without restoration of my power have taken their toll. Whatever damage has been caused can only be corrected by following the Pilgrim's path to the Ebonair and replacing the key. Okay, he can't take the key, Boda. Stop being an idiot. How does the Ebonair affect all of us? The Ebonair is a conduit through which nocturnal influences our world. Not through magic or blessings, but purely through luck. 
Luck is meaningless. What we do involves skill. Yes, absolutely. Your skill is your own. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. But Nocturnal, she influences our luck. Nearly imperceptible assistance we get when we ply our trade. What's that changing the way things are? Think about the guild. About the state it was in when you began. Think about all the little things you might have heard. A pick breaking when it shouldn't have. The clouds in the nighttime sky clearing at the wrong moment. Our access to those bits of luck are what separates us from common bandits. So with Ebon Mere closed, our lucks run dry. Precisely. There are a few who still call Nocturnal Lady Luck, and for good reason. I, well, well, I face in the Pilgrim's Path. I wish I could help you, but I've been a prisoner in this very chamber for the last quarter century. The only possible help I've come across are the remains of some poor fellow who is trying to follow in your footsteps. Perhaps his journal can help? Perhaps. Trapped in your 25 years, does that mean you've been dead for 25 years? Man, that sounds like a really crappy afterlife, man. Why would anyone want to be a Nightingale? What's wrong with the other Nightingale Sentinel, Scalus? With the Ebonmere closed, and their sudden severance from the realm of Everglow, I fear they've undergone a drastic change. They're shadows of their former selves. They no longer remember their true purpose, or their original identities. Why aren't they like you? My spirit didn't manifest itself in the sepulchre immediately. So, fortunately, I wasn't present when the Ebonmere was sealed. However, ever since that day, I've felt my power waning, slowly draining away. Five years in the making. All right, Gallus, it was good to meet you. Thank you for your assistance. Good luck, Nightingale. Thank you, Gallus. I like how his name changed. I'm okay with the dark, but I've spent more than my share of time in caves already. Don't worry, I will try to be swift. All right, girls, you're gonna wait here at the entrance. We can't have that debacle like we did in the last episode. So let's find this, uh, this guy's journal. Oh, we've got an excavation site. I didn't even check to see how many silver arrows I have. Okay. But let's go ahead and, uh, oh, I no longer have it ferreted. Okay, apparently I don't have any silver arrows. I wonder what happened to them all. Did I use them all, or did I accidentally put it in the crate? I may have done that. But I do have a silver dagger and silver sword, right? No, I have no silver whatsoever. I am a noob. I don't know what I did with that. I had a silver sword, and I had a silver dagger. I guess I stuck it in the chest. That's all right, uh, hopefully with the Nightingale stuff. I think Nightingale actually st um, counts as um, Daedric, actually. Oh, here's that man right here. And Daedric weapons actually act as silver, maybe? I don't know. So this guy is Nistrum. He has a journal. Still wore acts of binding. Sneaking is twice as effective. Okay. And he has a satchel. Black pearl, lock picks, and an opal. Alright, so let's see what this guy has learned on his own. I don't know why I let Anders talk me into this plan. He said the place would be full of riches, but I have yet to see even a single gold coin. To make matters worse, I think the other priests are beginning to suspect we aren't who we say we are. If they discover we are posing as priests of Nocturnal, I'm sure they're not going to simply ask us to leap nicely. I'll have to watch my step. As an acolyte of Nocturnal, I've been assigned a mentor, an old dark elf fellow by the name of Leth... Uh, Lethalus? Maybe if I act the part, I can pry some information from him about the Pilgrim's Path. Anders swears to me that all of the temple's wealth is stashed within the inner sanctum, which supposedly sits at the end of the path. So my job is to get us through the obstacles alive. 
Lethalus was easier to coax than I expected. Gave me a wealth of information on the Pilgrim's Path, but he was speaking in riddles. I'll try to have to record what I remember here and share it with Anders after he's done with his mentor. The only thing Lethalus seemed clear about was that there were five tests on the path. This, uh, this is what he said about each. Shadows of their former selves, sentinels of the dark. They wander evermore and deal swift death to defile us. Above all, they stand vigilance everlasting, beholden to the milk yet contentious of the glow. Offer what she desires most, but reject the material, for her greatest want is that which cannot be seen, felt, or carried. Direct and yet indirect, the path of salvation, a route of cunning with a fortune betraying the foolish. Journey is complete, Empress. Embrace her which the fallen hesitate not if you wish to gift her your eternal devotion. He also mumbled some nonsensical phrases like night is the new day and how he was the ghost of the sun. I have no idea what these cryptic sentiments mean, but hopefully during tomorrow's ritual, Anders and I will put everything we've learned to the test. Okay. So, um, yeah. We'll, uh, address the trials as we encounter them. Because that was very cryptic. Night is the new day and shadow's path and all that stuff. Alright, so I'm pretty sure there's nothing actually here in this entrance chamber or whatever you want to call it. Alright ladies, uh, I'll be back. Try not to worry too much. Yeah, I just want to take a quick peek. Yeah. Yeah, nothing in the shadows over here. Okay, so, um, hmm, 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 hmm. Let's get our nighting, uh, nighting girl bow out. Get this sneaky, sneaky. Got some goodies over here. Sounds like one of the girls found, like, something to mine. Right there. Looks like an alchemy lab off in the distance. Nothing over here. See nothing scary. Oh, I see something scary. What are you? Oh, it's a Mr. Ghost. Can you sneak attack a ghost? <laughs> yes, you can, my man. Ha ha ha. Alright, before we go down there, let's go over here. Alright, so this shouldn't be too bad. Sneak attack with a uh, nightingale bow is pretty potent. Alright, so we got an unread book. Has a display, that's good. Oh, still daggers. We are now looting every dagger we come across, guys. Because that is now money. Dance of fire. Cool. I think that might be the last one we need. Wild search. Okay. Let's go across the way, check out this alchemy table. Or what I think is an alchemy table. Then we'll go down. Okay, I see another ghosty. Another spook. Oh, she saw me. Missed. Someone lives she's level 30. Alright, she's just standing there. Headshot. Yeah, just keep standing there. Alright, this is dumb. Alright, hopefully the comments hold him. Hopefully the others will be a bit more of a challenge. Nice cozy little corner over here. And sometimes you see like loose gems and whatnot on top of these things. Alright. So we do ghostly remains have Elvin. So these bad guys have elven bows and arrows, maybe. What's that? That's a button. Huh, I never noticed that button. Where does this go? Cool, a secret stash. That's awesome. What's in here? Nothing much, but oh well. That was still pretty cool, though. I like finding stuff like that. Neat. All right, moving on. 
Yeah, so probably a good place to find like Nordic stuff, like pots and plate, uh, pots and plates and things. For the display, you see. Elven arrow is good. Let's go and save because I'm scared. Turn out to love it. That's a trap. And that's a ghost facing my way. You know, I think I have invis potions. Let's see. Yeah, I do. I got three. Let's get position. Shoot him in front of the shadow here. Just in case we need more than one shot. Boom! I sense a presence. Ooh. That did a lot of damage, man. Let's finish him. I will return! Please don't return. And if you do, stay away from my bed. I've already got monsters under my bed. I can still hear the girls like mining. That's crazy. Okay. Anything in the shadows? No. All right. So the journal says something about lights and shadows, right? Let's take a quick peek. Okay. So the first test would be the shadows of former cell sentient sentinels. All okay, right. Those are those guys. Uh, for what she does most, we reject material for her greatest ones. That okay. Above all, they stand ever vigilant, beholden to the murk yet contentious of the glow. Beholden to the murk yet contentious of the glow. That's some fancy words of saying that. Um, above all, they stand vigilance everlasting, beholden to the murk, yet vigilance contentious to the glow. All right, I don't know what that means, but what it means is uh, don't go into the light because if I just start cooking, it hurts. Okay, so we got to stay out of the light, guys, and we got some dead bodies as examples. Whoa. Got traps. Okay. Is there anything? No. Jump! I didn't jump. Jump, Boda. Come on. There we go. Hey, Nightingale Banner in green. Right, let's keep moving. This is a cool dungeon, man. I wish there was more dungeons like this in the game. Okay. Stick to the shadows. Keep a lookout for traps, like that one. Sometimes my jump doesn't want to work, it seems like. There we go. At least the light doesn't hurt me there. Okay. Making good progress. Oh god, that was dumb. What's hurting me? I guess I stood in the light and didn't realize it. Well, I did it again. That'd be a stupid way to die. <laughs> okay. All right. That trial's done. So what's the next trial we're going to face? Offer what she desires most, but reject the material for her greatest want is that which cannot be seen, felt, or carried. I'm not sure what that means. What does she want? Reject, reject the material. This feels like the Goonies. So does that mean I'm not supposed to loot anything? I do! God, I scared myself with the muffled. But I want to loot everything. Nocturnal right there. Part the statue of Nocturnal. Surely she doesn't mean this chest. Alright, be mindful of traps, Boda. I 
Alright, we got a dead body here. Bandit Mage. I'll take his stuff. That doesn't count, right? Bone Spirit. Cast Eventual Spirit. Okay. Ooh, Iron Dagger. Gotta take it. So I'm guessing I'm not supposed to loot that. If I loot that, I'm gonna die. Or something. I wonder what killed him. Hmm. Alright. It's not like that is very tempting anyway. So offer her what she wants. Uh, you don't know what she wants. This is a chain. She likes her chain jank. Sound like steam powered, man. There's another chain over here. Oh! Those chains turn off the light. What she wants is light, or shadows. Okay. So far, so good. Got another trap. Up here! Got two ways. Let's go this way first. Turn off the lights. Actually, it looked like there was. But those are scorch marks. Master lock. Oh, and I got the skeleton key. This would be easy. I probably shouldn't have the light on. Let's see. Anything in the shadows. Got an opening over here. Let's, oh, I see a baddie, and her back's to me. Let's take her out. Oof, single shot. That was cool. Yeah, Boda has become formidable in his archery skills, man, especially with the Nightingale bow. Oh god. He's right there. He's a caster. And he's facing away from me. <laughs> Idiot. Forgot I could do those rolls. Let's see what's over here. Got a door. Oh, this just loops around. And I died like a noob. So where we left off is I opened this door and something killed me. And I'm opening this door for completion's sake. So there's the trap right there. So this trap, is, this door is trapped. So let's just open it back up. There we go. Woo! No stone unturned, guys. No stone unturned. So there's a trap here. Whoa. This is a chamber of death. Let's go and save. All right, let's see what's in this room. Oh, the sepulchre inner sanctum. I don't want to go that way just yet. We've got things to check out over here first, guys. I gotta kill one more of these guys again. There she is. Hmm. Does someone? <laughs> Hold that thought, pal. All right. Pretty cool room, man. What we got here? Even ghosts have barrels. All right. I'm surprised the mega populated didn't go ham in this area. Holding cell. Weird. Alright, so any goodies down here? Got a book? Lock picking is at 45. Cyrodiilic iron bow. Give me those arrows. Nothing of interest here. Got 
Let's have Frost Salts. Wolf Queen, Volume 4. This might be the last Wolf Queen, Queen book we need. Anything up there? Any amulets or anything else of note? Ooh, a ruby. And a dagger. Is that it? Got a display here. It's a trap! Run! It's not a trap. Circuit Weakness. A sneaking book. Very cool. Oh my. This seems like there should be something more significant in this area. Hmm. Okay. Alright, let's go. save. Alright, into the inner sanctum. I end up an open area here. Let's hug the wall. And at the same time, keep our eyes peeled for some goodies. And boat is hungry. Alright, I don't see anything. Nothing of note. Hmm, <laughs> that room was a non event. Okay. Is there anything else to this? It just led to a big ass hole. Just jump. Yo it was at this moment that Boda thought he made a mistake. Anders. Wait a minute, that was what's his face's partner here. And here's the silver dagger. So if I lost my silver dagger, I just found another one. Anders. Let's see what Anders' message says. I can't believe it. Came all this way. Solved all those ridiculous riddles just to end up here. After I memorized uh, Nystrom's clues he collected from Lithalus, I slit his throat. Now I guess the joke's on me because I'm stuck here and I don't see a way out. Hope someone comes by soon. Getting hungry. Yeah. Okay. So we're in a circular room. No doors. Let's see if that journal has anything here. This will be the last test, right? Offer what you deserve. Direct and yet indirect. A path to salvation. A route of cunning with fortune betraying the foolish. The journey is complete. The Empress embrace awaits the fallen. Hesitate not if you wish to gift her your eternal devotion. Also mumbled some nonsensical phrases like night is the new day. And now he was the ghost of the sun. I have no idea what these cryptic sentiments mean. But hopefully during tomorrow's rituals. Anderson, mm. Night is the day. Right. All I did was look around. Oof. I guess you had to you had to have the skeleton key, huh? That was freaking cool. So that's where the skeleton key goes. Several doors here. None of them can't open any of them. All right, let's do it. Let's do it in third person. Oh, that is awesome. My, my. What do we have here? It's been a number of years since I've set foot on your world. Or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. So, once again, the key has been stolen, and a champion returns it to the Sepulchre. Now that the Ebonmere has been restored, you stand before me awaiting your accolades. A pat on your head, a kiss on your cheek. What you failed to realize is your actions were expected 
and represent nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the letter. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward. Yes. The prize. Fear not. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. I bid you to drink deeply from the Evanmere mortal, for this is where the agent of Nocturnal is born. The oath has been struck, the die has been cast, and your fate awaits you in the Everglow. Farewell, Nightingale. See to it that you stay this time, won't you? Do you even get the key? <laughs> the key is like... And Carlyle, it looks like you showed up after all. After all, the heavy lifting was done. Good job. I'm glad you were able to bring the key back safely. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. Please, she sounded indifferent. Ungrateful, even. I wouldn't take that to heart. It's her way. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful, outwardly sounding angry. But silently content. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. I don't need that kind of reassurance, Carlyle. I'm not that insecure. What's this about becoming an agent of Nocturnal? The circles at the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale agent. The Crescent Moon represents the agent of stealth, the Half Moon for the agent of subterfuge, and the Full Moon for the agent of strife. Why can't I be all three? This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the Sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a day. So what now? Now, your life as a Nightingale begins. Should the need arise, you'll be summoned to the Sepulchre in order to defend it. And you? The Guild has welcomed me back with open arms. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things, but actually the beginning. The beginning of what, Carlyle? Why, perhaps the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. There are pockets brimming with coin and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves. And we're damn good at what we do. Very true, and that would have been a great opportunity for Bethesda to release a badass DLC centering around the Thieves Guild. Or maybe an entrepreneurial uh, mod author maybe might want to take up the task. Uh, tell me about the Agent of Subterfuge. Alright, so these are the different things. Unfortunately, the only thing I remember is Stealth is the Crescent Moon. Alright, well, what's Subterfuge? The Agent of Subterfuge utilizes Shadow to cloud the judgment of those around him. By weaving the darkness to their will, this agent can manipulate others into fighting for the Nightingale for a limited time. Fury, agent of stealth? The agent of stealth is the master of remaining unseen. They are able to manipulate the darkness and use it to their advantage. That sounds good. On moonlit nights or in darkened rooms, this agent literally becomes invisible. Really? And agent of strife? The agent of strife? can send forth a tendril of pure darkness into the heart of another, causing great injury to them. At the same time, this tether will bolster the agent's own life force, making him stronger. That's okay. Choose your path, and your journey will be complete. We are going to go with stealth, guys, so the Crescent Moon. That'll be this one. Shadow Cloak and Nocturnal gained. Is that an ability? What is that? You did... He's talking to you, Carlia. Carlos. There you go. <laughs> I feared I would never see you again. I was afraid you'd become like the others. If it were not for the actions of this nightingale, your fears would have come true. He honors us all. What will you do now, my love? 
Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid, we'll embrace once again. Farewell, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye, Carlisle. That's pretty sad. What happens if I jump in there? I can't jump in there. Oh, goodbye, Gallus. Anything else you gotta say, Carlisle? Yes, Nightingale. What is it? Yeah, where, where are you gonna go from here? I've decided to make my home at Nightingale Hall. Since it's your home as well, I hope to see you and Brynjolf there. Of course, I may visit some of Skyrim cities to acquire things from time to time. Can't afford to get rusty now, can we? That's awesome. So I should make a mod to where you do encounter Carlyre from time to time on a crime spree. It's really like maybe running away from guards and like, Hey, Boda, good to see you. And Shiki just keeps running. Where did Gallus go? Gallus' oath has been paid. His actions have satisfied the terms. Now his spirit becomes one with the Everglow, the realm of perpetual twilight and the cradle of shadow. Who is gone? No, not gone. He's become one with the shadows. This is the greatest honor a Nightingale can possibly achieve. In death, he's become a part of that which we use to live. That sounds a lot like oblivion. Not oblivion in this, you know, Bethesda sense, but like, you know, nothingness. That's just like a horrible afterlife, Carlyle. They're a part of the darkness around us? Absolutely. When we say, walk with the shadows, we are asking those Nightingales who have passed on to protect us. It's believed that they are literally what guides our uncanny luck by placing their hands in ours. That's why the Ebonmere needed to be reopened. Without it, there's no way Nocturnal was able to allow them through. Okay, so it's not Oblivion. Kind of sounds like Guardian Angels. How will I know if I'm needed here? If this place is in danger ever again, the shadows will call. Should the need arise, a portal connects the Sepulchre and Nightingale Hall. Use it whenever you wish. Alright, so that's also how we can come back here if we want to change whatever nocturnal blessing that we get. And once again, another great opportunity for like a DLC that Bethesda could have released surrounding um, the Thieves Guild. Farewell. I guess Eyes that's open it. open and walk with the shadows. So, are these doors? Yeah. That's it. Do we have a quest telling us what to do next here? No. That's pretty much the end of the Thieves Guild, but we gotta go back to the Thieves Guild now and make this official. Looks like Lydia was worried about us. No, everything's good. I handled it. And it's Sophia, the one that was busy. What is she mining? Oh, she was working on that. Alright, ladies, let's go. Off back to Ripton, back to the Thieves Guild, to see what uh, Brynjolf and party has to say. And it's still raining. Well, we were here most of the day, but not that long. Cool. Switch back to the Soul Bowl. And let's head back to Falkreath. Ooh, look, a present. And I missed. And I missed again. I'm no fan of the sun. Get him! I got him once. Yes. Thank you, Lydia. You always have my back. Alright, let's go. No, oh, tourists. Who are you? Hunters. And another hunter. Oh, they must have been chasing that elk. I stole their kill. Oh well. I left you to meet! Just took the horns. Let's go. Make sure I'm going the right way. Yeah, I am. Ritual site. Oh, we need to go all the way over here. Yeah, the ritual site is where we killed that um necromancer, right? There's so many cool locations out in this area, man. I can't wait to actually start working on this hold. Okay, so we're going to head back to Riften, check in with the guild, and we're going to tie up all the loose ends of have Riften. Have you ever tried bareback? I didn't like it. It started to make me a little sore after a while. 
What's with the funny face? I was talking about horse riding. Yeah, you were. What is this? Strong box with that requires a key. I wonder if this is part of some mod, some quest thing. Oh, 3D NPCs. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's that uh, bandit fort. Must be careful. Don't want to draw them out. Yeah, we'll return to that when we're doing the companions. What is this? Oh, it's just rocks. What if my archery's uh, to the point to where I really don't need poisons anymore? That would be a shame. I kind of like using poisons. Well, if I turn up the difficulty, then... Well, we'll see. We'll see how the game plays out. Okay, so let's just go ahead right to Ripton. Carriages to all the cities. The boat is hungry. He's not tired, but he's a little dirty. I hear someone fighting. Don't hurt me. What's going on? Might be With another thief. Drowning in a sea of sin and wickedness. Uh, let's let them handle their own problems. Let's go to the guild, check in with everybody. How can the humble servant of Talos help you today? Come he... see me in the market if you're yeah. looking for the finest custom jewelry in all of Skyrim. I got those amethysts for you, man. Oh, maybe it wasn't him. Safe travels, Landstrider. It wasn't Argonian. Azura's wisdom to you, friend. I think it's Argonian that's in By the gods. here, it's actually. True, isn't it? In the uh, being a barb. Random Stolero. Nice. Need something? Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire, and I'll send someone over. Yeah, tell him, Jay. You have some nerve coming back here after what you did to Kirava. I suck it up. Uh... Yeah, can you tell me about the wedding ring? Every Argonian wedding proposal band is supposed to have three flawless amethysts as part of their design. Two of the gems, the ones on the outside, rep the amethyst in the center represents the hist, the entity that all Argonians consider a sacred part of our lives. Oh, what is it? Just get out of here. Huh, you're no fun. I'm a blast, Sophia. That's why you hang around. Okay, then. Is there something I can do for you? Oh, you see me pull out those gems and now you're all nice, huh? I found those amethysts for you. I, I, I don't know what to say. Such kindness is unheard of in these times. Here, I want you to accept this as payment for your sacrifice. And I, well, we both thank you. So does that mean we're friends now? Give me a lockpicking potion. What drinks do you have? Three, in fact. They're my own recipe. Brought them over here from my days as a bartender in Gideon. First is the Velvet Lachance, which is a mixture of blackberry, honey, spiced wine, and a touch of nightshade. <laughs> Perfectly safe, I assure you. Second, we have the White Gold Tower, which is heavy cream with a layer of blended mead, lavender, and dragon's tongue on top. Last, and only for the bravest of souls, we have the Cliff Racer which is firebrand wine, cyrodelic brandy, flynn, and sujama. That's pretty good. Depends. Are you I thirsty? Hungry? Think, both? I think there's actually a display for these. And the fact that they have these really cool graphics, yeah. Yeah. So let's buy one of each. There's got to be a cookbook out there somewhere with uh, the those drinks to make in our life. be always soft. Hey, Sophia. <clears throat> What's on your mind? I don't know how you could drink blood. Oh, that's blood just again. gross. Let's go. Kind of curious to see what um, Serrano Dialogue edit and maybe Sophia will say about me, say about me becoming um, I've never seen me old. Thieves Guild about anything. leader, city really master, whatever. Alright, let's go. So many mods. Kind of feeling a little uneasy here. 
Everyone just seems so reserved, but not in a good way. Let the girls relax. There's Brino. Mm. It's good to see you. Mm. It's good to see you in one piece, lad. See I just wanted to gear. give you a proper thank you for everything you've done. The guild is back on its feet again, and on its way to a prosperous future. What's become of the skeleton key? Ah, uh, fortunately I'd return it, man. That's it then. After all those years of helplessly watching the guild decline. But enough of that. I'm confident that with you in charge, we'll soon have more gold than we could possibly spend. Yeah, about that. I'm heading, um, off the white run tomorrow. Maybe the day after that. So, um, you have to keep things in order for me, buddy. So, where will you be now? I'll be down here, trying to coordinate everything with Delvin and Vex. To make sure the coin keeps flowing, and no one skims. <laughs> Good luck with if that. If you still feel like doing some jobs, I'm sure Delvin and Vex have more than their fair share to give out. Either way, it's been a pleasure, my friend. Here's to the future of the guild. May it last another thousand years. You're here. Started under new management. So we gotta speak to Brynjolf about becoming guildmaster. Okay. And we got some stuff to sell him, too. Alright, so the girls are gonna just chill here for a while. Garther, Vipper, and Nernian. We need to steal his bow. Hey, Delvin's in here. I think it's time we make this guildmaster thing official. Go and talk to Brynjolf. He's making I, preparations. I just talked to Brynjolf. Oh, everybody's gathering here. Cool. Hey, Vex. Where's Brynjolf? There he is. That's not him. Oh. It's like a coronation of sorts. Yeah, look at all these uh, new NPCs, man. That's from Opulent Thieves Guild. Okay, so Brynjolf's in the practice room. Well, my friend, the time's come to make it official. It's time to become our guild master. Don't worry. I promise this will be short and sweet. If you'll just meet us in the center of the cistern room, we can begin. Oh, okay. So I just had to talk to him. I never did explore this area very well, did I? Uploaded. All right, let's go. Let's become guild leader of the thieves' guild. Oh, Carlisle is here. That's awesome. never been good at these things, so I'm just going to keep it short. Being Guildmaster means more than just getting a cut of all the loot. It's about being a leader and keeping this rabble in order. With that in mind, I propose that the position of Guildmaster should be yours. Delvin? Agreed. Vex? Sure. Why not? Carlia? Absolutely. Everyone is in agreement. So all I can do now is name you Guildmaster, and wish you good fortune and long life. Now everyone, get back to work. I suppose you deserve it. Couldn't do any worse than Mercer, anyway. Oh, so much better. I am not the guild leader. Have well, anything new to like say, Sapphire? Well, looks like you're running the show now. Good luck. Well, looks like you're running the show now. Good luck. Uh oh. I can't Anything think new? of a better person for the job, Nightingale. About the secrecy of the Nightingales. I think by now, most within the Guild are well aware of what transpired between Mercer Frey and ourselves. The notion that the Nightingales are a fictive group has long since passed. If you wish to wear your Nightingale armor within the Guild, I'm certain that no one would give it a second thought. How have things been now that Mercer's gone? I'm feeling a sense of inner peace. 
Something I haven't felt in a very long time. Instead of being clouded with thoughts of revenge and retribution, I feel only serenity and fulfillment. Of course, I've been also dabbling in my old pastimes as well. Take a look around, and feel free to share the fruits of my labor. Oh, I think uh, we're supposed to be talking to her in Nightingale Hall. That's what she's talking about there. How have things been now that Mercer's gone? Oh, I already said that. May the shadows guide your journey. Thanks for showing up, Carla. I appreciate the support. All right, so, uh, yeah. Here's Brynjolf. Hmm, we're in your hood full-time now, huh, buddy? You need anything. Anything at all. Don't hesitate to ask. You know, my pet and baldness is nothing to be ashamed of, right? So how's the guild doing? Take a good look around you. Have you ever seen the guild in such a prosperous state? With Mercer Frega and our influence spreading across Skyrim, the guild's earned a new level of respect it hasn't seen in decades. I couldn't be more proud to be part of the Thieves' Guild, or of its new guildmaster. So that's that. There's nothing else. Well, that's it. Sorry if it isn't the ceremony you were hoping for, but we're not exactly known for throwing our coin around. After we're done, head over to Tenelia, and she'll set you up with your guildmaster armor. Oh, and one last thing. Here, I want you to take this. It's sort of a tradition around here. Cool. So we got some new armor, Bloom Watch amulet, and some things. Well, looks like you're running the show now. Yes. Good luck. Until next time. Hey, even Maven showed up. Hmm, wheeling and dealing with Sophia, eh? I suppose congratulations are in order. Now don't screw it up. You make sure I get paid. Out of my way. <laughs> I'm the guild leader, damn it. All right, Sarana, anything to say? Do you need something? Uh, what's on your mind? I'm feeling pretty good, actually. Thanks for checking in. No problem. Let's ask Sophia. What is it? Gotta talk to you for a bit. What would you like to talk about? How are you feeling? Hungry. I'm so hungry I could even eat you. <laughs> That's why she's cooking. Uh, I mean, in an unpreferred way, of course. Sure. Okay. Let's give her something. I could get used to this. Let's give her some an amethyst. I shall treasure this forever. Or until I'm bored with it. I see that questions. disapproving look in your eye, Lydia. Back already? Oh, she's feeling a little jealous. But she has nothing to say. Too bad. You know where to find me. Yeah. I mean, there is mods out there that yes. uh, give Lydia the Serana treatment, but a big part of uh, Lydia's appeal to me is her voice. And to swap out her voice it doesn't work for me. All right, so who else am I talking to here? I can't think of a better person for the job, Nightingale. Ah, oh, thanks. I guess we should talk to Delvin, huh? Looks like Delvin went back to his station. We got some more folks here. Cindus with the very awesome armor. Venrith. Here's someone working a smithy. I don't see Delvin right over here yet. Yes. Oh, this is Anelia. Here's hey. to a long and prosperous future. May the guild last another hundred years. Well said, well said. And I guess she doesn't have anything new to say. Well, Brynjolf said you got some for me. Yes, and I'm more than happy to give it to you. Well, give it to me. I mean, look at this place. I've never seen so much wealth down here. You've made us all rich. Here you go. Should fit you like a glove, boss. Boss? I like the sound of that. And Usual give me some lockpicks. Usual guild rate. Let's take a look at them. 30 lockpicks will do. I don't think I have anything stolen to sell her. Yeah, I'm good. All right. You'll find Rasad with his caravan group. Just don't do anything stupid when you get there. You have questions? Yeah, where's Delvin? Hey, Vex, where's your boyfriend? Our guildmaster graces me with a visit. What can I do for you? Eh, nothing new here. And she's a follower now. I could recruit her as a follower. You think you're finished? I've got plenty more where that came from. 
That is from Nether's Follower Framework. I could also um, Hi there. get some sapphires that are follow right now, too. I think Brynjolf, maybe even Carlia. Amulet Trader. Amulet. Oh, I'm here. What is that? Uh, armor of Health. There is an enchant. There is not an enchanter here. <coughs> Guys, taking a leak. Let's see what this blacksmith Need sells. Your weapon repaired. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Nothing too, nothing too fancy, I guess. Until next time. All right. That's uh, oh, it's middle of the night, so Delvin is sleeping. Actually, we got some Falmer eyes to sell. Eyes of the Falmer. There he is. Wake up. Always a pleasure, boss. What could I do for you? All right. So here we go. I managed to recover an eye of the Falmer. By the eight. You actually got your hands on it. This alone is worth more than some thieves earn in a lifetime. After I sell this to my buyer in High Rock, our coffers will be overflowing. There you go. You earned it. 1600 gold. I guess that's a lot better than what you normally get for the stuff you sell them. All right. Don't I have two eyes at a farmer? Can I give you a little tip? Take every job you can get, or else you'll end up a beggar. Okay, I guess you sell both at the same time. Hey, this guild needs the coin. Walking away with that taking work is not gonna make you popular around here. I am the most popular guy here, man. This Beckel. Dirge. I think I talked to everybody in the guild, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Alright, what do you say we check out the guild leader armor? Guild master armor, rather. Carry capacity, pickpockets, lock picking. Ugh, Nightingale stuff is way better, man. But let's put it on for now. That's pretty cool. Same armor as that Br Brynjolf has. I'll wear it for now. I mean, uh, either this episode or next episode, we're going to switch to heavy armor anyway when we start the companions. Okay, so I think all our business in the actual Thieves... No, it's not. I need to complete her quest, and I have our guild master um, graces me with a visit. her boyfriend's what quest as well. Okay. So, we are now going to wrap up some loose ends here. Complete these quests. We still got a quest with Dinyu. Alright, so let's go ahead and find Rasad. Alright. Okay, so only one eye of the Falmer is here. Oh, I don't have any one on me. Well, there was left and right eye of the Falmer, right? Yeah, I still have one. Can I just place it? No. I wonder if I actually got everything. Crown of Baron Zaya. Okay, even though that's technically Thieves Guild, that's not something I'm gonna wrap up in this episode. Alright, let me check back in with Delvin, see if I can sell this other eye. No, maybe I gotta wait a day or something. What's the matter? Afraid of getting your hands dirty? Yes, I'm the guild leader now. I do not get my hands dirty. Alright, so what do you say I give you a little quick tour of the new and improved uh, Thieves Guild? So this is the Ragged Flagon. It's been at its peak for a while now, but let's take a, a closer look at things. So the bar is nice and dressed up now. This floating nightshade is still here, though. With a visit. What can I do for you? So this patio area has been expanded. What do Got this walkway now that mm -hmm. connects it to this other entrance here. Got our four shops. Very cool. And there's like a new storage a area over here now. Nice fully stocked. What can I do for you? So living quarters for Vex and Delvin and all that. That's over here. I don't think this has changed much. Maybe a little some banners here and there. Yeah. So the main hallway here. We got the stuffed bear. Some some crates. Stuffed saber cat. Living quarters for the new guild members here and the new shopkeepers. Yeah, very cool. Alright, let's look at the cistern now. And this has like the biggest changes, I think. So bags of money, 
with the Statue of Mara. Nice little bench. Yeah, just all the shelves are now fully stocked. The beds have like a privacy screen. At least my bed does. Little candles for atmosphere. Statue of Nocturnal right here. Looks like I can stand in front of it. What happens? Huh. So I could activate it. Alright, that's cool. I think I needed to activate the Shrine Nocturnal to unlock a, a display anyway. So everyone's beds. Divine smile on you, friend. You too, Rin. A fireplace in the in this dungeon. I doubt this little tiny fireplace will keep this place warm. So let's go look at the practice room again. Bunch of knickknacks. Dragonstone even. Alright. Nice moody lighting. Okay, the exit has is fully stocked. This is where our larder is apparently. Sophia's still cooking. Lydia is still kind of overlooking Sophia hanging out. Yeah, very cool. Want to talk? Go ahead. Yeah, there used to be like a whole dialogue tree with her, like telling me about her past. I'll see you around. Hey, yeah, you too. Maybe it's because of certain dialogue choices I chose when I um did that one quest for what's his name, Shatter, Shadow, whatever the the stable hand. And here's our treasure vault now. Look at that. So cool. Fully stocked. Very prosperous Thieves Guild. Look at all those gold bars. We are rich. Yeah, that's pretty much that. Okay, so let's eat, sleep, and then head out in the morning and tie up those loose ends. I just noticed this wash basin next to this waterfall. So I guess this is where everyone bathes. Jeez, you don't get much privacy here, do you? What are you looking at, man? Okay, so looks like uh, Rasad is outside of White Run, and we we need to give that dagger, Ale Alexandra's dagger, to Andrews and White Run. And the last stage of the Book of Love quest is actually out in this area by Rorikstead. So yeah, we're off to White Run, ladies. Let's go. Yes. Ooh, foggy morning in Skyrim. Hopefully Rasad will still be there by the time we get there. Oh, no, they're here. Cool! And there's Rasad. Look at them. You amazing. approach as if you know us, stranger. Who are you? And what do you want? You've got to admire their courage. Doing something like that with dragons on the loose and a war going on. I agree, Lydia. I bring an offer from the Thieves Guild. Yes, I've heard the Guild is rising back to power. An alliance would be most beneficial to both parties. I will consider the offer, but I'll have to discuss it with the other caravans. Perhaps this will sweeten the deal. Ah, moon sugar. I could smell it on you. I am pleased with this offer. And accept. <laughs> Take my word to the leaders of your guild and tell them we look forward to a prosperous and profitable future. If you happen upon any of our caravans in your travels, we'd also be more than willing to pay you a fair sum for any of your stolen goods. Ah, <laughs> very cool. All right, so I don't actually want to buy anything from them. All right, so that's done. Okay, so we got to return to Tenelia. Tell her okay. I'll contact her soon. All right, Rissad, it was good seeing you, buddy. Let's go. So now let's turn in that dagger. Oh, we gotta talk to that guy in the hall, halls of the dead. Man, it feels like a long time ago since we, when we were last here in Whiterun. Hey, it's Uthgird. So good to see you. I'm, I'm the Thieves Guild leader now. Thieves Guild master. Oh, she's so impressed. Man, I love this game. Alright, where is he? There he is. Hey, Pally. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. 
I feel a connection with you too, buddy. I have Alexandra's dagger here. She finally decided to return it to her father. Bless her heart. I will make sure this finds its way to his tomb as soon as possible. Thank you for bringing it, my child. You're welcome. It was a pleasure. Who is crowding me? Sophia. White again. Run is truly a curious city. It feels so open. I suppose it does. Everyone has to have their turn with the Shrine of Arcade, apparently. Let's go! Alright, so let's finish up the Book of Love. So what is the next step? The Book of Love. Uh, we're to help out the temple. Put on the Amulet of Mara. Okay, Lydia, don't get too excited, okay? Um, this is just for the quest. Maybe in the future. You never know. We'll see. Okay. Alright, talk to long dead lover near the monument in the western plains of Whiterun. Where is this? It's right here. Really close to Rorik's stead. So let's head up the carriage driver and get to Rorik's stead. Just hop, skip, and a jump. Actually, we need to go to Arcadia's Cauldron. Because one other loose uh, string, uh, loose end I want to tie up is Balaman's uh, need for fire day. assaults. So I assume Arcadia's Cauldron has respawned everything. Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy reagents. All right, uh, but Arcadia is her friend. Let's see if she sells. What do you need? If she friend? has any for sale. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? That's dumb. Be careful out there. You have one on display. Why can't I just buy it? All right, so we'll just take it. Yoink! Let's go. What are you doing that for? I need it, and you didn't want to sell it to me. All right. So it's about three in the afternoon, plenty of time, plenty of daylight. Yep, if this playthrough wasn't, uh, if I wasn't running this playthrough, if this playthrough wasn't running so long, I would totally just run across the plains. Kind of want to see how far this forced overhaul of the tundra, you know, how far that extends. Probably all the way to Orkstead. All right. Let's call up Ellie. There she is. And Sophia's horse isn't being so stubborn this time. I get a lot of looks from people wherever I go. I'm not sure if it's because they find me attractive or because they think I'm a little odd. Or both. Probably both. Well, I do think you're attractive. You... Let's just say I wished I never heard half the things that come out of your mouth. Be nice, Arana. I mean, come on. Keep being yourself, and all the power to you for being Sophia. Just don't say whatever comes to mind so quickly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's almost like a big sister, little sister dynamic going on over there. So, magic is a 240, health is 195, stamina, let's put in health. I've got four perks to spend. Actually, let me go ahead and do that. Let me spend at least some in Illusion right now. Okay, so I want to put one in Imposing Presence. You radiate an aura of mystical char uh, charisma that touches all within 40 feet. Any Illusion spell you cast on these, if those effects is 25% more powerful. Okay. And Commanding Presence. In combat, you radiate an aura of mystical nobility that touches allied creatures and people within 40 feet. Those effects gain 20% extra attack damage and have a 20% chance of a critical strike. Alright, that's good. Okay. Nice job. I have to admit, I'm impressed. Thanks, Serana. Wow, look at this overhaul. Holy cow, Rourke still looks amazing. I just want to, like, explore this, like, but I can't. Gotta stay on target. Got a task to complete. So, gotta head out. Hang out here, Allie. I need to soul trap some stuff just in case. Alright, so it's just... Oh. Here's our first opportunity. Target of opportunity. Oh, he zigged when he should have zagged. That's okay. We'll have plenty more opportunity. Okay. So that monument. Oh, carriage stop. I ran past it apparently, but I don't see it. Oh, it's right there. 
Cool. Alright, so what kind of predators are out here, I wonder? Saber cats, definitely. Was my enchanting high enough to soul trap a saber cat? I don't know. But next episode, yeah, I'm definitely going to start getting into the whole enchanting stuff. Got to get that cycle going. Got some runes out here that I don't remember ever seeing. Hmm, cool. Alright, we're almost there. I guess a really cool thing about these trees, it really does make this feel fresh and new. Oh, there's the monument right there. It's weird to see that with a backdrop of trees. <laughs> okay, so let's see if we can find this. Lover. There she is. Rookie. Uh, what are you doing out here, Rookie? I'm searching for my Fenric. He was marching with you, cause men, who they say were wiped out here. I've turned over everybody, though, and I can't find him. Please help me look. He has a bright red beard and hair. I don't see any bodies here. Uh, Rookie, the last battle here was hundreds of years ago. Ah, oh, you a fool. Look at the bodies around. Even if you're blind, surely you can smell the blood. Come, help me search for Fenrir. He must be here somewhere. Fenrir, Fenrir, Let's move known. faster. The sun is... It's not great for my skin. Lady, you know it's mean. sunset. Relax. I didn't get to see that quest, what it said. Uh, find Fenric, who is known to wander the area southwest of a prominent cemetery in White Run Hold. Oh, that could only mean one cemetery. Uh, well, Fenric's right there. Cemetery that the quest is referring to is right here. Okay, so we're just gonna run there. Hop, skip, and a jump. And see if we can tag some animals for their souls. Along the way. My compass is so crowded, I can't see which direction the compass is pointing. That's why I keep opening my map. Okay, so line of sights is really crappy because of the trees. And I'm pretty sure that the trees don't actually provide any cover for me. Like, things could see me from miles away, I think. Oh, well, I got the girls to protect me. Yeah, like, trying to run through here on a horse would be a, really annoying. Yeah, the trees look cool, but honestly, I'm not a fan of the mod itself. Not talking crap, just not for me. Oh, I see you. Stand still. Did I get him? No, I was just close. There's a horse here. And a dead dude. What's going on? Bandit armor mauler. You got an orcish shield, man. I'll take it. And a small sword. I could ride the horse. I guess it's a free horse. So what's better, Orcus shield or what she Still has? Here. Let me see what you got, girl. I am at your command. Oh, she's got her steel shield on her. I gotta look at her. Actually. Of course. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it to her through here. That way she has access to the shield no matter what armor or what uh, outfit she's wearing. Which means I gotta take it away from her standard outfit or she'll eat that shield. Oh, Alright, hold on. Where is it? Yeah. I understand. Of course. Oh! I'm not trying to shoot you, I swear. So she's got a dwarven shield here. Alright. I never oh. knew it would be this beautiful. Someone should really make a painting for this place. Yeah, I'm so sorry, Zarada. Uh, let me help you with that. I'm glad you got a good sense of humor about it all. Uh-oh. Oh no. Let me know if you have anything you need from me. Alright, let me see your stuff again. 
I'm at your service. Okay, she already ate the shield. Because I gave it to her before. Oh, man. She ate her shield. That sucks. All right, let's do that. She still have it, it on her. It would be my pleasure. Yeah, she's got the Dwarven Shield. She ate the Orca Shield. That is another Orca let's Shield going, you ate. Then. Lady. All right, it's getting dark. Let's go and see what this is, though, since we're here. Shrine of Zenithar. Go ahead and tag it. Okay. Let's keep going. Will I night vision if I have to? Oh, I see you. Your soul is mine. Make sure I'm going the right direction. All right. Oh, I see another one. That's good. Oh, he didn't die. Did I get him? I got him. Yes. I am the beast. Okay, so we got like a bandit cave here. I forget which cave this is. Somebody's standing outside. Oh, normally, yeah, there's someone right there. But we're not going to go in that cave just yet. We got things to do, guys. We got things to do. I can't see a thing. I hate these trees. Water's Edge. Alright, I see a Nern Root. I gotta grab it. I'm gonna get that quest over with, with, uh, what's her name? The Blackbriar Girl. Got some crabs, though. Pretty sure I could capture their souls. Whoa! Cool, cool, cool. Heavy Witch Plate uh, Hood. I already have that, though. Let's go. Very nice. I would stick to the water so we could actually have a good line of sight. A dragon. Oh, I see him right there. A ghostly specter. Come back. One shot. Finish him. I'm not someone. <laughs> I actually got him. One more. Yes. Someone to be trifled with. <laughs> oh my god, they keep coming. Will I get this one as well? Oh, I didn't get that one. Good night. The girls finished them off, but my by then my soul trap had, uh, had a war off. Oh well. Okay, it's getting dark now. Worst comes to worst, I'll put on Night Eye. Fenrig? Your wife is looking for you. Rookie? Where is she? West, in the plains over the mountain. We're expected to fight there tomorrow. Joker elected to camp here for the night. I don't like it, though. Good. Uh, why don't you like camping here? Our fires are visible for miles. We're in a low valley. Sitting ducks. Well, someone didn't tell you about the tree overhaul that was installed. 
Let me take you to Ruki. If she's come this far from home, it must be important. Lead on. I just need to report back to camp by sunrise. Alright, find Red Echo's Nondo, Wonder. Alright, let's go. Never saw anything like this back on the island. I'm so glad I left that place. Yeah, it was very depressing like, and it's so dark out here. It's a good thing I have night eye. So I guess uh, Fenric just ran by him back and by himself then, huh? Oh well. All right, let's head back. But first, let me grab this Nern root across the way. Pillar of Death. Oh, that's from Thunderchild and I Scions mod. I never really play with shots. I always forget I have it. Okay, let's go. I think Sophie is holding nine Nern root, nine root, Nern root for me, so that means I need nine more. Yeah, I should have made more of an effort to hunt that stuff down, so we could have been finishing it now, too. There is a farm outside of Ripton. To where I could probably go pick him up. Maybe I will. Let's head back. To Ruki and Fenrig. Thank God for Night Eye. Thank Talos. Yeah, I got a handful of soul gems too. That's cool. Good run. The only thing I don't like about Night Eye is it makes everything look so flat. This is not very pretty. And I'm going south again. Sheesh. Oh, what is this? Some ruins. Ruin fort discovered. Huh? huh? What? Huh? <gasps> oh no, Why? vampires! Where are you girls? Run! Yeah. I lost my girls. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to... Nightingale bow. Actually, let's pull out the blade. Take him out. Oh. oh, yeah. And why are you naked? Oh, God. Going to enjoy killing uh, I can't give him too much distance. Jeez, bunch of vampires out of there. Okay, so I seem to have lost my girls, and I can't summon them right now. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Alright, I'm gonna go complete this quest and then find them. Let's go. It was before with Nether f Nether's Follower Tweaks, Summon used to always work, whether or not they're waiting or not. I don't know. Okay, so I couldn't summon them because... Oh, there they are. So you can't summon them if they're waiting, apparently. I don't remember where I parked them. Well, those vampires actually were really, really easy, though. Oh. I'm literally right next to it. Alright, there we are. Let's turn off Night Eye for the ambiance. Fenrir, you're alive. Of course I am. What brings you here? I had heard that Gukar's men were wiped out. I came to find you. But that battle isn't expected until tomorrow. Rookie, what's going on? I am so confused. What's happening? It doesn't matter. I'm here. We're together now. And we will be forever. Oh, that's nice. I'm a sucker for long-lost love. 
Alright ladies, let's head back to Rorik's Dead. We're gonna go back to Riften. It's 8 o'clock at night. I think I'm going the right way. I am not. Turn around, Boda. This away. Boda's hungry again. I'm proud of what we've managed to accomplish. Thanks, Lydia. I'm just looking around. I mean, it's a clear night, but the moon isn't out, so I guess that's why it's so dark. Yeah. I should veer off more to the west, hit the road. Then I can just follow the road into town. I am going to have to recharge this bow soon. Oh, that's a bear. I think he sees me. Or, they, or not. Yeah, he sees me because someone has their... their torch on me. Oh, that's what the saber cat. Now? Can't it wait? No. Come on, hit it. There we go. Oh god, he's coming. He's a coming. Dodge. Can we get one more hit? You Thank you. Right? Yes. Cool. Okay, there's Oryx right there. Cool. Down the road. Makes me think of um, American World from London. <gasps> Stay on the road. Beware of the moon. Alright. Okay, we don't need eye to eye for this part. Here's the carriage. To Riften! Alright, so let's hit Abdinia, even though it's one o'clock in the morning. Let's wake her up. Yeah. Sounds like another thief is out and about. It's none of our business, ladies. Let's go. Let's just find Dinu. Too bad as, uh, you know, the guildmaster, I can't tell these, tell them to stop messing around in here in Riften. I just want to double check something. Yeah, see JK's Temple Amara? Oh! Skyrim Unique Treasures. Actually, this is something that we're supposed to loot for the for the um, museum. Reports of a disturbance. All wow. right, so this temple truly looks like something else. It's cozy, is didn't you? Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. I helped the long dead lovers find each other. Your efforts have helped illuminate the entire province. I trust by now you've achieved a higher comprehension of love. Carry the blessings of Mara with you so the rest of the province may shine with her glories. Cool. Does the temple need any additional assistance? Riften is drowning in a sea of sin and wickedness, and it's my personal mission to let everyone know that the warmth of Mara can see them through. All I need is a messenger to bring her words to these poor souls by distributing these missives. Okay, I'll distribute them. Oh my, how wonderful. Lady Mara will be so pleased. Here you are. Now make sure you give out every single one. We can't afford to let even one lost soul stray from her warmth. Okay. Uh, okay, I need to hand out 20 of these. Oh my god. Alright, um... Any tips on who might accept these? Almost anyone in Riften is in dire need of those missives. Speak to them, child. You will know who will listen, and who will sin. A word of advice. Keep away from the Keep and the City Guards. They follow their own path and have already forsaken her. Okay. Take care of yourself. We will not be doing that this episode, friends. <laughs> I totally forgot about that quest. 
And there are several quests I can't even do because I'm not of level yet. Like um, the thing for um, uh, Mjol with her Grimseaver for her sword. Um, the one where we return the Codex to the Dwarven Ruin. I forgot what, what that quest is called. You've seen better days. So we're going to have to come back and do stuff anyway. Wow, look at this. The aftermath of this battle. Alright, so... Oh, here's that thief. Eh, might as well check. Take his gems. Yeah. Alright, so this is luck. Let's knock on the door. Is Hello. someone there? It's a me, a Boda. May I come in? Of course. Cool. Alright. But before we go in, Sophia. Was there something you wanted? Yeah, let me get Is those fire salts. Because you're scared what I might do with it. She has tin and root. Cool. Let me go ahead and give her what I have. Two more. So I need eight no more nern root. I rather enjoyed a little chat. So where's Bully? He's probably Oh, there he is. Hey Maine. Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? I found the fire salt you need, brother. Oh, I could give him that too. Why not? Amazing. These must have been very hard to come by. You've saved my business and warmed an old smith's heart. For that, I thank you. Cool. Now let me warm your soul. Here, brother. Blessing Omar upon you. Thank you for the blessing. I'll put this to good use. Very right, cool. Uh, no, 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 no. Stay safe. Interested in me? Okay, I gotta, I gotta take this off. In fact, um, yeah, oh, I got two guildmasters necklaces now. Sneaking is, yeah, this is good. This is good. I'm still wearing the ring of the gray. Cool. All right, girls. Okay, so now let's head into the keep and uh, go ahead and buy that house, so I could, uh, so I could finally become Thane. I've got 26,000 gold. I may not have a big enough bankroll, actually. So, no, we're not going to do that just yet. Um, after I get my enchanting um, cycle, circle, whatever, up and running, and I got a lot of daggers to enchant and things, um, yeah, we'll, we'll start getting into that. Not to mention all the... Yeah, you don't look suspicious at all. Well, ah! you asked for it. Huh? Who's get there? Vampire. You did pretty good out there. Nice work. You weren't talking to me, were you? I do great all the time. Man, Riften really is like a hellhole. Thieves and vampires and stuff, and the guards didn't even do anything. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video right there. Um, there's a lot of loose ends, honestly, with Riften, and I don't think I can really um, just knock those out really quickly. And I don't think that'd be a very good. I don't think that'd be a very interesting episode either. So I'm gonna like just sort of um, pick at it as we go as uh, as we play through the game, and that's that goes as well with all the other city quests and things like that, whether it's White Run or whatever. And like I said, I think I already said anyway. Um, I'm not of level to do like the Grim Seavers quest, the um, the Dwarven Codex quest, things like that. And I gotta hand out a bunch of these <laughs> Mara pamphlet things, I guess. But anyways, next episode, we're going to get into the whole Companions quest line. Looking forward to that. And that means that my playstyle is going to change a lot. A whole lot less th uh, stealth. A lot more heavy armor. And I'm going to specialize in two-handed weapons. I don't know which one. Maybe sword or axe. I don't know yet. And I'm really going to start pumping out the enchanting stuff. Pumping out those daggers so I can start earning a load of cash. Because like I said, I want to buy the house here in Riften. I can buy the house in Whiterun. So that's a lot of cash there. And I want to buy um, the various additions to the safe house itself. Like, I, I know Sophia and maybe Serana uh, could have their own rooms. I could specifically buy um, an expansion for their rooms and other things like that. So, yeah, a lot of things to do, a lot of things to explore. Um, the next episode should be pretty interesting. So, thank you guys for joining me. I feel like this was a pretty good episode. Uh, Book of Love. In fact, I think the Book of Love gave me a, a permanent buff, right? Let's see. Yeah, Agent of Mara. That's what you mean. Increases magic resistance by 15%. That is great. That quest right there, just for that, is, is worth it alone. But yeah, thank you for joining me, guys. This is great. I'm having fun. I hope you're enjoying the series. Um, yeah, I think this episode went uh, a whole lot smoother than the last one. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still learning. Still improving. But anyways, guys, I will catch you in the next episode. <laughs>